Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss on process FMEA and how to use process FMEA for any improvement activities. If you still not subscribe my channel, it is recommended to subscribe, hit the bell icon for any future updates. Thank you. Introduction to process FMEA. See originally this FMEA developed by US Army in 1950s and they began to use in the aerospace industry and even in the manufacturing industry where failures were not allowed. So we conduct FMEA after designing a new product or in new service or in a new process. Even in Six Sigma projects where we use a DMAC as a methodology, it is usually done at early stage of improve phase. In order to increase the probability of success with FMEA, we need to identify the potential problems. See this, uh, we need to try to use in any process or in a project where we are spending lot of time and cost to find a potential failure modes. So since we have a template for this FMEA, even uh, you know FME process FMEA or design FMEA, we have a template already. So it's not difficult to do. So we can focus on process FMEA that can be used to improve the any process yield or performance when you have a potential failures. So what is process FMEA? So FMEA is a process failure mode effect analysis. It is a structured analytical tool used by any organization or a cross-functional team to identify and evaluate the potential failure modes. So it helps us to establish the impact of the failure. So PFMEA also provide a framework for identifying and prioritizing the action for the items having risk factor for minimize the risk. It is a live document that should be updated through the process of production and maintain it through the life cycle of the product. 10 steps for making process FMEA. See these are the 10 simple steps for any process improvement activity using PFMEA tool. So first is process review and its requirement. See for any process review using process flowchart is very good starting point. In process flowchart you can identify what are the different components used in the process and what are the different process variables. And it's also uh, help uh, team members to identify what are the critical things in the particular process stage. So second is brainstorming with cross functional team to identify potential failure mode. See brainstorming is a uh, process for generating new ideas and is also a technique by which group attempts to find a solution for specific problem. Means group means I am talking about 5 to 7 people a cross functional team. So third is list the potential effect of the failure. See here the potential effect of failure may be some failures will have an effect on customer and some are on environment, some may be in the facility or some may be in the process itself. So you need to identify and list down the what are the potential effect of failure. Next is severity ranking. So assign severity ranking to each effect that has been identified. The severity ranking estimate on how serious the effect would be. The severity ranking is based on the relative scale ranging from 1 to 10. Means 10 means effect is uh, dangerously high or severity leading to the hazard without warning. 1 means severity is extremely low. Then occurrence ranking. So consider the potential cause for each failure mode then assign a occurrence. So if we know the cause we can better identify how frequently is specific mode of failure will occur. See to identify the, uh, the uh, you know, possible causes, we need to do a root cause analysis using maybe a 5 way technique or 7 quality tools. So once you know the cause, capture the data on frequency of the cause occurrence. See occurrence relative scale may be similar to severity that is 1 to 10. 10 means very high occurrence and 1 means very low occurrence. So next is detection ranking. See detection ranking is one means the chance of detection of failure is certain. 10 means no detection at all. So this is basically means that the, there is no control in place to prevent the defect or detect the defect. So next once we have severity ranking, occurrence ranking, ranking and detection ranking, we need to calculate the RPN. RPN is, RPN is equal to severity ranking into occurrence ranking into 
detection ranking so once we have a rpm we need to have a basically we need to we can use a Pareto chart to identify which are the vital few and which are the tribal many in vital few means highest uh, rpm maybe in tribal many means uh, uh, relatively low rpm compared to the severity one so then we need to develop an action plan then for action plan we need to take action that maybe we will discuss in the next slides and again we need to recalculate the rpn using severity occurrence detection after making an improvement and see whether the rpn is came down compared to previous rpn number process fmea format see uh, as we discussed in the previous slide so the process fmea format uh, where we can identify the potential failure mode and enter the severity occurrence and detection and calculate the rpn that is current status to be updated what are the present status and next is again after calculating the rpn and identifying the possible causes and doing the improvement the second uh, stage also we need to complete that is improvement with recommendation recommended action we need to identify responsibility and the target completion date and action taken and again you can see here again we need to recalculate the rpn number by giving severity occurrence and detection this is a simple format uh, standard format for process fmea action plan development for high rpn value see the rpn can be reduced by lowering any of three rankings that is severity occurrence or detection that is individually you can uh, uh, reduce or with combination with one another so severity usually requires a physical modification to the process equipment or layout reduction in occurrence ranking is accomplished by removing or controlling the potential cause so reduction in the detection ranking can be accomplished by improving the process controls in place adding process fail safe shutdowns alarm signals or validation practices including work instruction or sops setup procedures calibration programs and preventive maintenance is all detection ranking improvement approach acceptable rpn so for this each company will have a different rpn number uh, to set a maximum target uh, some will be setting 250 some are at uh, 150 in some of the semiconductor company i have seen they are uh, setting a maximum target of 90 so whatever coming above 90 will have a detailed action plan and what are the things will be done who will be doing these actions and when, when it is needed so what are the tools also will be identified to reduce the risk relative risk of failure mode tools for reducing rpn number see these are some popular tools uh, uh, which will be used to reduce the relative risk and reduce the severity occurrence and detection ranking so that is one is uh, seven quality tools mistake proofing spc uh, using doe hypothesis testing that is analysis of variance and apart from this even the people will take a separate six sigma project uh, for uh, you know to reduce the severity or occurrence ranking or detection then uh, tools these tools will be used to reduce the rpn number implement the improvements and calculate the resulting rpn the action plan outlined should include what steps are needed to implement the solution simple action plan for quick hit solutions and complex solution needs more thorough planning and documentation so once the implementation uh, the improvements are been implemented again we need to recalculate the rpn and reassess the severity occurrence and detection ranking for failure modes after actions are completed benefits of process fmea process fmea identifies potential failure mode during new product implementation or process setups fmea assess the potential customer effect of the failures the process fmea identifies potential manufacturing process causes it identifies a significant process variables to focus control for occurrence reduction and detection of failure conditions the process FMEA develop a list of potential failure modes ranked according to the effect on the customer and we can also set the priority for corrective and preventive action for potential failure mode with help of PFMEA. Thank you for watching my video. Please if you have any comments you can send me the mail to prasadagastya at gmail.com and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.